Hi everyone, it's Farhandel, angel therapist and spiritual personal trainer for your weekly angel card reading here on March the 2nd. And although we just had what some people are calling a snowstorm in Toronto, there is a movement towards spring and by that I mean energetically. There's this burst of energy coming in and people are in, starting to want to move forward in their plans. They're starting to get um, inspiration ideas, um, perhaps looking for clarity. And so hopefully the angel reading today will help you with that. And also this particular week, as we transition towards a new season, with that comes just exactly that, transitions. And transitions can be kind of unnerving for some people because we're letting go of some familiar stuff and moving into new territory, and that can be sometimes frightening as well. The ego wants to hold on to what's familiar, what's known, and uncertain futures can sometimes be scary, but just know this, that as you walk the path of spirituality, know that no matter how uncertain the future may lie, you are always guided and supported. As long as you hold the intention and that you allow the support to be received, you will always be guided. In fact, you have angels wanting to speak with you, ascended masters wanting to guide you and help and assist you. And they're simply there for us with a simple thought. Just say, I need help and call on the deity or angel or whoever it is that you wish to work with and they will appear because they will not interfere with our free will. We must ask for their help. So once again, on my Facebook page, there were three cards for you to choose from. And depending on which card you picked, one, two, or three, or any combination thereof, I will reveal those cards to you today. And I worked with three different decks today, all by Dorian Virtue. The first was Messages from Your Angels, and the second one was the Angel Therapy card deck, and the third was the Daily Guidance from Your Angels. And so... I was drawn to go to all three decks today, so clearly there are some distinct messages coming from each deck, and hopefully this will provide you with whatever clarity that you're looking for. So if you picked card number one, okay, perfect timing for this card. You know, this is the time to give birth to those ideas that um, you've been longing for, and whether that is practically starting a new family, literally giving birth, or adding to your existing family, and that can even include getting a pet. But it also means moving forward in your ideas about your um, career, moving forward with relationships, progressing existing relationships, whatever it may be. With this spring energy coming to March, it's fully in line and aligned and encouraging you to take those next steps. Okay, but like any. Um, time that you go into a restaurant, if you don't know what you want to order, the waiter doesn't know what to tell the chef, the chef doesn't know what to make, and therefore you don't know what you're going to get. So the more clear you are, the better the universe can respond. And if you're not sure, then sometimes uh, ask the angels for more guidance, or you can definitely contact me, and we can help you get clear on setting some of your personal goals, whatever that may be, and perhaps helping you clear obstacles and challenges that may be coming in your way or perceive or perceptively come in your way. But just know that you have divine support to help you through all of that, okay? And card number two is a reminder of that divine support. So you pick this card basically, basically because you're connected to the many or one or whoever ascended masters that you work closely with. That could be any saints, that could be any... Um, um, prophets, it could be Muhammad, Jesus, it could be whatever deity you work close with. And there's no reference or um, uh, religious connotation here. So it doesn't matter what your background is, you are open to work with all the deities because I honestly believe God gave us so many tools and resources to tap into. And these resources are all here for us. We just have to simply ask. So if you're, if there's a particular deity that you're working with, I'm going to hear, help you get a little closer so that you know the frequency in which that deity appears for you. So in your mind right now, think about whoever it is that you wish to work with or that you already work with, whether that's Jesus, Moses, any particular saints, whoever that may be. And just hold in your mind's eye, as you close your eyes or breathe in deeply, the name of that deity or ascended master. 
And now just pay close attention to any feelings or sensations that are coming through your body. And just know that that is, in fact, that deity communicating with you. And you may get a visual image. If you're more clairvoyant, you may feel a pressure change if you're clairsentient. Or you'll just know their presence if you're claircognizant. Okay? And now send some love to this deity and just feel the return of that love love coming back to you and generally when we give love to any ascended master the feeling of love that comes back is far greater or stronger okay and now just say thank you to this deity and ask for whatever help that you need with help me find that job help me in that relationship whatever it may be and just know that that deity is off to work for you now thank you excellent and now if you picked card number three, I love this card because number one, I love the ocean and I am definitely happiest when I'm in the ocean. A little challenging to do right now given the weather conditions in Toronto. However, what the angels are saying is being around the ocean right now is very therapeutic for you. It can help heal you in so many ways, especially being around salt water. And so if you can't get to the ocean and, you, and that is your desire, Simply ask the angels to help make arrangements for you to get on that vacation or take that trip or that weekend away from, um, from everything and everyone for just a few days so you can get a break. But the ocean has very highly therapeutic properties to remove toxins and unwanted energies. And as we're moving into the spring energy, we probably want to remove and cleanse ourselves of any toxins that we've accumulated by staying indoors a lot this winter. Additionally, you can visualize or imagine that you're in the ocean and just by doing so you will receive the benefits as well, okay? But if you're like me and you'd rather be in the ocean, then definitely ask the angels to help you with that. But that said, just close your eyes right now and just visualize and imagine that a wave of waterfalls are just cascading all over your body and washing away any psychic debris, any toxins in your body, any pollutants, any fear-based energy that does not serve you, that may be weighing you down. Perhaps this is a time of transition and you're feeling the anxiety and the fears of all the changes that are happening. Allow this water to cascade and just wash those fears away and anything else that doesn't serve you. Okay, And if you get a chance and you can't get to the ocean, but if you want the therapeutic benefits of the salt water, then simply take a salt water bath is what the angels are showing me. And, um, <clears throat> and just make sure that you use uh, two handfuls of sea salt and place it in a warm bathtub and stay in the bathtub when the water is nice and lukewarm till it cools down. And then simply wash yourself off with fresh water so that you don't reabsorb any of the toxins. Well, that's your angel reading for this week. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please feel free to comment, like, or give me any feedback. And again, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me on my website, www.farhandela.com, or here on Facebook. Angel blessings, everyone.